Okay, hello, we are live out in Facebook and YouTube land. Hello, we're just waiting for some lovely viewers to show up. We're here today with Ashley and Jody. Jody is in Gator and Sub 2, so she's going to share a little bit about what she's got going on and how she's mixing up, as Ashley was calling it earlier, a secret sauce to profit in this space. So we are going to break that down a little bit. I'm just going into all of our Facebook groups right now and pinning us to the top. Let's see here. Great. Jody, tell us a little bit about you. Where do you live? Where are you from? What markets are you in? Lots of questions at the top. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, thanks, uh, Julie. Um, looking forward to being here and excited to be part of this amazing community. Um, to answer your question, I live here in Holly Springs, North Carolina, which is just right outside of Raleigh-Durham. Um, and I've been in the uh, Sub2 and Gator community since um, August, September timeframe of August, uh, sorry, 2023. So not super long, but um, long enough to, you know, take action and meet a ton of people. So it's been great. Yes, that's wonderful. So we've got some eyeballs coming in. Hi, everyone. We've got some hellos. Hello, everybody. This is streaming, guys. I just said this a little bit, but to our free Facebook group. So if you're out there in YouTube world, make sure you head over and join that because that's where you're going to be able to connect with people like Jody and other folks that are in the community to get you going on your first deals. They're looking for newbies out there in YouTube land to, to lift up and help and you all can be mutually beneficial to each other. So get on over there. Okay, look, we're at 52. That's pretty good. I'm happy with those. Okay, we've got some more folks coming in. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being here and being a viewer. We, we only do it because y'all keep showing up. So we mm -hmm. are hosting these every day, guys. Um, we have one more to wait Thursday and Friday this week. And... There is also a power-up Zoom immediately after this call, if anyone's interested in heading over to that too. Oh, our dear friend Tanisha's here. Hi, Tanisha. Yes, we're filling up. Okay, 65. Okay, cool. Let's get rocking, Jody. Let's hear a little bit more about you. Um, what were you doing before you entered the real estate space and sub two? Yeah, so um, I am... I was in corporate America for a long, long time, uh, working for you know a couple of a variety of different companies, and and then decided to open up an IT consulting company. So I turned entrepreneur. I think it was in my blood for a long time. Finally did it. Um, the company was acquired back in February of 2022. Um, so I was continuing to you know work with them, um, but always loved the real estate, and we've been passive real estate investors. My husband and I for years and years. So um, back in late 20, uh, sorry, 20, uh, June, July of last year, 23, I decided it was time for me to start entering the real estate space from a full time perspective. I still am working for the consulting company that come that bought mine, but, you know, slowly trying to exit that. So um, but I basically just plunged right in and said it's time to take the full time journey and um, joined uh, a couple of different groups at that time um, and then stumbled upon the um, sub two and Gator community in July, like August, September time frame. And I jumped in with both feet and just joined. Um, I was a little hesitant at first to be, you know, perfectly honest. I was like, oh, I don't want this to be like another course I'm joining. And then yeah, I don't need that, you know. Um, so but it absolutely was not that I was blown away. Um, the content got my juices flowing and I just said, this is it. I mean, I'm in the right space, in the right place and with the right group and with the right community. Um, the people in the community have been fantastic. Um, I've met some amazing folks um, from TCs to Gators to lenders to um, wholesalers. I mean, you name it. So it's been a great journey and um I'm doing a lot. I'm in a lot of in a lot of things, but we're mostly here in the Charlotte and Raleigh Durham market. Yes. Okay. And I understand that the deal that you broke down with Pace on the latest episode of Get Creative is also in that market. Can you tell us a yeah. little bit more about how you found it? Yeah. 
So that um, deal was a sub two deal. So it was my very first, um, you know, uh, sub two deal that I thought was never even possible, to be honest. When I first joined, I was like, what the heck is that? Taking over someone's interest? Like, I didn't even understand what that meant. Um, but I knew that that was what I wanted to do um, as quickly as I possibly could. But I didn't want to have my first deal be in a market that I didn't already was familiar with. Probably just the fear factor, you know? Um, and I was crowsing on the Facebook page one day, as I do on most days, and I saw you know, somebody that I know well, a wholesaler, Brandon, that posted a sub two deal in Holly Springs, North Carolina. And I was like, what? Nobody like who's got deals in Holly Springs, North Carolina, you know, nobody even heard of us. So I immediately jumped in and said, Brandon, don't sell this. I want it. You know, I didn't even know the deal structure at that time, but I knew that it was a, it was going to be one that I wanted to go ahead and acquire. So, um, I got the information. Um, I kind of understood the situation with the seller. Luckily, there were no arrears, um, you know, the interest rate, the PITI, all that kind of stuff. And so within a few hours, I signed the contract um, and it was a wholesale fee of about 15,000, 7,000 to the seller. So 22,000. And I picked up the mortgage um, of 337,000 at 4.25%. So it was a good one and it was literally 10 minutes from my house. So I knew that it was going to be, you know, a very appreciating asset to keep. Um, so my exit strategy was to keep it. I wasn't going to turn around and sell it. Um, but I am looking right now at uh, a few candidates that are open to do a lease to own. So that's probably what I'm going to do with that property. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath townhouse. It's a great house. Um, and yeah, so we're probably going to have somebody live in there that can't either get a traditional mortgage or, you know, whatever, and um, get a down payment. And then they're going to work their way into holding the property after about a year to 18 months. So, yeah, so that's the strategy there. So I was excited. It was fun. I, I think I closed the deal in about seven days and we got the contract done in and to, to take it a step further, um, so, so, the, so the fee was 22000 to get in and then plus closing costs, so all in maybe $25,000. And then I flipped over to the Gator community, like within a couple hours and said, just got my first sub two deal, need some PML money, you know, for, and within minutes, I had like, I don't know, 25 people that said, hey, I want to help fund, I want to help fund, you know, so in 24 hours, like the deal was done. I was just oh my like, gosh. waiting for it to close. I got to jump in here. This is so amazing. Jody. Yeah. you, I cannot believe that you said that you've been only in the group, in the community for like, just, I mean, not even a year. Yeah. And to hear you say like, oh, I was a little nervous at first. And oh, well, you know, I don't really know exactly how this sub two mm -hmm. thing would work, but I'll, we'll figure it out to hear you start there and then turn around and be like, yeah, you know, had this super great relationship with this wholesaler that I had been, you know, know was really active and involved in the community, bring this up. And then for you to know so confidently to be like, I'm just going to go to Gator and be like, Hey, yeah. I know this is what you guys are for. So let's connect and let's grow. And for you to move this along so quickly, and especially like those numbers on this deal, that is just heavenly in the, okay. in the market right now. That is just like, I, I don't think I've seen like really, really great numbers like that mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks for me, at least. Yeah. So. A lot of them are at like six, six and a half percent. Yeah. And um, I usually kind of shy away from those. I probably shouldn't, but I, I have. Oh, um, you're working you into get it. get a little spoiled when you get a four and a quarter rate, then you're like, oh, I don't want anything higher than that. You know? Oh my gosh. When you said four, I couldn't believe it. One. Yeah. And I think the fact that it was close to where I live and stuff that gave me a little bit more confidence because I, I knew the area, I knew the location, it's a booming area. Um, that, that kind of helped you know i think if it was somewhere else i probably wouldn't i i would have hesitated just a little bit but um now i wouldn't now i mean in fact since then i have purchased two more sub twos so i have bought two more sub twos um in march and april uh sorry in march two in march you did? yeah oh, yeah you yeah. are not slowing down you've got the jets on i love yeah it. so they're not local in the sense that in my town like 10 minutes up the road so they both have been sight unseen, um, but they are local in that they're in North Carolina. So yeah. 
if I can't go drive to it, it's to me, you might as well just buy it somewhere else. So my hesitation on the first one where I was like, oh, I don't want to go if I can't like changed on the second and third one. So the second one was in Charlotte, North Carolina. I already have it rented. Um, and that was at um, also a 4.25% rate. You are uh, about the lucky, you've got the I lucky, got lucky charm or something. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. That one I had to, we had to give a little bit more to the seller because it was, um, he had a little bit more equity in there, but I was happy to do it. It's a beautiful home mm -hmm. um, in a super high appreciating area of Charlotte. And I already have somebody renting it. Um, they moved in like the following week. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, and then the third one I just closed two weeks ago and it's in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Oh, and that man. one I got at 2.75, I'm sorry, 3.25. Oh my gosh. I yeah. love those so much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So and I haven't seen that one either. I have a project manager who's over there and he's going to clean it out. And then we're going to do the same concept there with the lease to own. Yeah. So you meant so you mentioned that you were doing real estate prior to joining Sub Two and Gator. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about like what was it once you got in the community that just made you feel like okay, I feel like I have my toolbox, I have my my army, my tribe. Like what was it? Was it the education? Was it the live support? Like what was it that made you feel like um, okay, I can take this leap? Yeah, I think. I think it was a little bit of everything. I think the key is obviously, you know, go through the app, go through all the YouTube, go through the course. I, and, and to be honest, I didn't go through the entire course. I, I kind of was like, like a fire hose. Wait a minute. I just like, I got to go and just start doing this stuff. Like enough yeah. of the, enough of the, enough of the videos. Like, I, I mean, no, no offense to Pace. You probably kill me for saying that. But I, at that point I was like, we just, you just got to take action because you really can't make a lot of mistakes if you if you do it the right way you have a tc you have a lender you have your attorney you've got the wholesaler that you got a relationship with i mean they're not all going to steer you wrong you know and Isn't then and then you've got the community so i found myself asking a lot of questions or putting a post out there and the minute you ask a question hey you know does this look right or should i jump in for this or you know whatever People are pretty frank. If it's a shitty deal, excuse my French, they're going to say, don't do it. You know, yeah. this doesn't sound right. And then you jump on a call with that person and then you mm -hmm. kind of get their perspective. And that's how I've built a ton of relationships. And I think now I have so many people that I can just go to when I need money or go to when I want to have a question on a particular deal that comes my way. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a process, but mm -hmm. um, you, the culmination of the course, the videos, the people, the jumping in, you got to be active. If you're not an active member, I think it's going to be difficult to, to really do anything. You know, I, I 100% agree yeah. where it's almost like this is the place where the dream teams are born. When you yeah. find someone that like really fits your flow and it fits mm -hmm. like your goals and your ambitions of what you're trying to achieve, like they are right there saying, yeah, this is the part I want to play. Let's play together so we can all play to win. Yeah, like that's I I feel like it's really magical in that sense, because most people, they're trying to do all of the things. And that's one thing that I just absolutely loved about your story is you brought so many people in. I think it was like seven, seven. Right? eight, yeah. including me, but seven, seven people that were well, actually tech, if you think about it, nine, the attorney. Yeah. Oh my god. Integral part of the close. <laughs> that, <laughs> so that but that nice. they are an important piece yeah. of that. Where it's like that's their that's still them, and they're still in this business yep. in this industry, and they're still doing that stuff. So it's like you just brought the opportunity for all of these people to mm -hmm. improve and progress and win and succeed in the area that they're choosing to work in. And I love yep. that. And eight people made money on the transaction along the way, right? If you think about it, it was the wholesaler, the TC. And they did the post TC, so, so I guess that's one. The attorney, the seller, myself, yeah. the gator. I mean, the there's no, there's the no reason TV. why everyone can't win. This is yeah, not everybody won. Like, everyone got a slice of the pie, and then the renter who's gonna rent or the person who's gonna lease to own from me, they end up winning because otherwise they wouldn't have been able to get a property. So if you go to that extent, I guess right, it can go on and on. But it's a great, it's a great feeling, and I think. You know, when you do a transaction like this with somebody doesn't have to foreclose on their property or have it taken away or have to write a check at the end, yeah. which is what was going to be the case here um, in the first property. Um, 
it's nice to know you were able to help him. I mean, they got a little bit of money in their pocket, probably helped him move. And they mm. heard him and his wife moved to Florida and they were really lovely people. I met them when we went to go look at the property and, you know, they were happy. So I think he, even he was probably like stunned when that proposition was brought to him by the wholesaler, you know, like, hey, he's like, what? Who's going to take my prop? You know, that's that's always a question, right, for a seller. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was excited. And so then I got my juices flowing, got two more. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I can't wait. Next time we catch up with you, you're probably going to have like a, a couple more too. And we're going to have to just start the stories all over again. Cause I, won't be able to keep up. <laughs> I hope so. I do. I do enjoy it. And as long as they cash flow and everybody wins, then, you know, it helps build up your real estate portfolio much, much quicker and scale. Right. Because like you were asking me about the past, you know, when we, my husband and I have done past real estate for years. Right. Um, yeah, there's no way we would have been able to buy three properties in three months. Like that's insane. I love this. I love this. So but I much. bought each one with zero money out of my pocket. So I literally got the private money lender to fund me the gap and the closing and all that stuff. So, I mean, th there's no, there's no reason you couldn't scale. Right? Yeah, no, definitely not. Especially where like everyone has the education that they need for each yeah. piece of that so that, you know, everyone's like a high performer in that area because that's what they're specializing in. Yeah. Yeah. I love no, that. It's, it's been fun. It's been a joyous ride. I mean, I'm also I'm, I'm doing that, but I also I'm doing a lot of flips as well. So that's a new journey for me, but it's been really fun. So and I have that under my belt now a little bit. So I'm excited. So you were doing were you doing flips before? No, you no. weren't doing. So this is a new thing too. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in 2024, I made a goal for myself. So I'm, I'm pretty much there. So I wanted to have a certain amount of number of transactions between the buy and holds and the flips and the flips. Some of them will turn into rentals. You know, I'll just refi and keep them as rentals because I got them at a good price or they're at a good location, good rental property. And then some will just be flips, but yeah. yeah. And most of them are all in Charlotte. I love that. So Anthony has a super great question. He says he's just asking a question, but about you still paying back the PML. That's obviously part of what we're doing, right? We oh, get them yeah. All set up. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. We're we're not gonna play that game here. Absolutely yeah. not. We want to make sure yeah, everyone's yeah. taken care of. Yep. Yeah. There's, you know, every note is different. Sometimes they're short. Sometimes they're long. But on average, I would say, you know, four months is generally the appropriate time to be able to either flip out of a property or to refi out of a property and cash out to be able to pay everybody back. But yeah. when you have enough transactions that can come back from another transaction too, right? So, and I'm a PML myself. So- Because you're in Gator. I, I, get, love this. I lend as well. So, you know, when my money's out, I had to go borrow it from somebody else. So it's, it's constant, you know? Yeah. yeah, I, I, so I, my background is in transaction coordination. So I just love hearing stories like yours, where you're like, I'm going to pull resources where I need to have them, but you're still thinking about each piece of it where you're like, I, I am also a PML. So I'm going to be thinking about what my PML needs so that I can make sure they feel comfortable with that. And then you're also, you know, you understand the wholesaling piece. So you understand that they need, they need what they need. And I, mm -hmm. I love the collab. It's seriously, is like a team yeah. sport when you do creative, it's so much fun. The collaboration is really fun and um, the, it's basically a lot of project management too, right? Because you're you're dealing with all kinds of peoples and parties and timelines and things like that. And you're trying to make sure everything is buttoned up and especially when you get to the flips because that's like a whole nother, you know. It's totally different. So yeah. It's a different type of game in the same arena. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. I love hearing all these different places where it's like, you're going to go do the flips. And so you've already done the buy and holds. And now it's like, you get to go try something different that still makes you feel like you're progressing towards your amazing goal. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I mean, the scalability is, um, it's really endless. I mean, it's really up to you how much you could scale and buy two properties a year. You can buy two properties a week, two properties a month. It's really based on what you feel comfortable doing, you know? Um, and that's what I love about this community because there's a lot of people that have never done this before. Um, there's some people that are just total experts and they've been doing this for years and years. So it's, it's nice that you can bring more experienced people with people that haven't had the experience and everybody just feels comfortable asking questions and getting it done. Um, so the leadership has been really important, you know, and 
I myself am not a leader, um, but I hope that when I get better and better at doing some of these things that I want to be able to give back and be able to be a good, you know, contributing to those people that are newer and stuff like that. I'm not sure I'm comfortable giving that kind of advice yet, but I would say to those that are listening or watching, and if you're new, um, just don't be afraid and and just make it happen, you know? I can tell you you're on the right track because for you to be as young of a community member as you are and already have all of these core values and these core things in place where you're just like hitting the ground running and you're already taken off. I know that it's, you know, it's just something where, where you start is a really good, you know, place to look back on and be like, Oh wow. Jody was already at such a great point when she got started. And so I know I'm sure you're going to be up in that in (laughs) no time at all. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. I love it. And um, I'm excited for everybody else that joins and kicks off and, it's it's just great i mean you really can't go wrong honestly like it i i i kick myself sometimes going why didn't i do this like two years ago you know like i'd be in a such a different spot but i'm grateful for where i'm at where i'm at and i'm grateful for those that have been you know a con- have given contribution to all of my um properties in whatever fashion they were in like i said with the pml whether it's the attorney whether it's the connector the and, the connectors have been great too. Like we need them, right? Um, they know how to reach people. They know how to get their attention when we're so busy, you know, as the investors doing all the things we're doing, project managing, looking for other deals. It's it's nice when you've got other people looking out for you to help you find money when you need it or whatever the case may be. So it's just, it's so cool. There's a place for everybody here. It's Yeah. Fun, you know? Yeah. So you don't have money to lend, you can go help somebody else who needs the money to lend, you know? Yeah. If you, it's it's just crazy. It's awesome. Like you never thought that that could happen, you know? Yeah. I know. I totally agree with that where it's like when I, cause I, when I joined sub two, I was in the same boat where it was like, oh, you know, I'm still trying to find out what value I can provide. And then I found out that being a TC was the value that I could provide. And Mm -hmm. so it's, I love that every avatar, every role in every transaction has a very valuable piece and that they're all working together for a collective goal so that all of us can win. All of us can make money. All of us can can do all the things. Yeah. Yeah. And like for me, my avatar, I I know I I would not be a good TC because I paperwork is not my thing. You know, Um, it just isn't, but it's such a pivotal, it's like it can make or break the deal, you know, every single time. So it's a critical role in the supply yeah. chain, right? So, yeah, and I feel the same way about you with your avatar being like a buy and hold investor or being a fix and flipper is it's just like, I don't have the energy to yeah. go out and go, just go out into the jungle every day and find those big problems and fix those big problems. Yeah. So I absolutely love that we get to connect on different avatars like you and I and make sure that we're all getting the best seat on the bus, I guess. Yeah. To make sure we're <laughs> all going to win. You, want. you get to pick the seat you want, you know, mm-hmm. and if it's multiple seats, you get to do that too. You can, yeah. uh, or you can take a break. I mean, that's the beauty of this whole business in real estate, right? Where, or, I mean, you can take a break when you want, you've got enough flips, work on those. You don't have to do any more for a while. If you want to mm-hmm. get 10 properties and then sit, go ahead. You know, it's, it's kind of cool. You can kind of make, you can speed up and slow down as you wish. Right. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. But just make it happen. I think that's a thing and learn and, but don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Um, Ask questions if you don't know what to do, you know, and if I, if they don't, if that person doesn't know the answer, ask it in the community. The Facebook page is great. It's amazing. So, so much wealth of knowledge in in that community and getting those answers from so many different experiences. Um, It looks like Sala is wondering how to get in touch with you. Um, I guess I can just put in the chat. Was it, I can't remember. Was it on the podcast? Did you share your best stuff for the podcast? Um, you mean my contact information? Just like best social. Are you on Facebook? Oh on yeah. Instagram? I'm on Facebook. Yeah. That's uh, mostly Facebook. Um, and I think that was on there. Okay. Um, there you go. Sala. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I've got 2024. I mean, the first quarter just ended and uh, I think we just entered Q2. So I am, I 
I think and I'm, she's on a roll. She's be- like, I'm going to get that goal by the end of the year. I yep. cannot wait. Yep. I, I, I should exceed it, but we'll see. Maybe I'll slow down at a certain period of the year, you know? Well, I, I mean, it. that's, that's what's so nice is you can just yeah. kind of take a lay of the land on like where you're sitting with your goal, where, where you, how you're feeling about everything you're achieving. Cause you're obviously mm-hmm. checking the boxes. Mm-hmm. So I love, yeah. I love that for anybody in, in the communities though, is that they can set those really high ambitious goals and they can just go after mm-hmm. them. Yeah. And then if they're, you know, during their journey, if they're like, okay, this is working way better than I thought it was. I think I can maybe like let go on the gas a tiny bit and I'll still be okay. So, yeah, I would think, I think at this point, what I, what I probably should do is look for like a VA or, you know, somebody that can kind of take over some of the tasks that um, may slow me down a little bit, right. With so much on my plate now, but um, I, I, I'm still enjoying everything. So it's fine. You know, Yeah, that, that would be the only thing at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you get to make, you can make that call really confidently because you've got these different resources and leaders and accountability groups to help you kind of see the bigger picture because you're just so focused on what you're trying to achieve right now. So yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And learn. I mean, I'm still in a really infancy learn, uh, you know, I wouldn't say infancy learning, but I'm still learning a lot. I mean, I don't think you ever really stop learning, right? You nope. Learn- every single day and you should um, yep. about all kinds of stuff. And then cool thing about real estate or in these transactions is that everyone is so different. So just when you think you've got to handle, well, the next one's just going to be a different wrinkle, you know? So yeah. you, you got to keep learning and then you just get better. You never get bored here because there's always something new to learn and there's always something new to figure out and solve and to do to try to help sellers or help the industry or help so many different aspects yeah. of this. I love that. I never get bored ever. No, no, you can't get bored. <laughs> yep. And there's always new people to meet. I mean, it's incredible, like how big this community is, right? So it's, it's crazy. It's, it's really great. I think I'm it's so amazing. glad I got to meet you, Jody. I saw your, I saw your episode. And so I got super excited to come in yeah. and just pick your brain and ask you questions. Cause oh, honestly, when I heard that you had just joined, I almost didn't believe it because that was so (laughs) fast. But when you talk about how you were like, okay, you know, I have the content, I have the resources, I have the support and I just need to do it now. Then, then it made a lot of sense. You were ready to just jump in and take action. So, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely it. And it, you know, everyone's comfort zone and comfort level and whatever is different. So I've always been more of a just jump in with both feet and make it happen. That's just my personality. And that's just how I've always done things. I don't know. It's always the smartest way to do it, but um, it it gets stuff done. It's not, it's not the right strategy for everyone. So I'm not going to say don't do all the learnings. Definitely do it. It's important, but, Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, use the community. That's what it's here for. You know, Mm -hmm. you know, use and abuse the people that are here is what I say. That's what they're (laughs) for. Yeah, really. So, yeah, um, but I love it. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this year unfolds for me. Yeah. I can't wait to yeah. see either, Jody. Yeah, thank you. So thank incredible. You. Well, and you can only look at the water for so long before jumping in. So as risky as it might feel to take the leap, it's like, that's all you can do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. is how you learn. I love it. Right. And just collaborate you know, with people, they don't have to be part of your deal directly, but they can be an indirect part of your deal and you can still learn a lot with them and they'll help you along the way. That's such a great point to bring up Jody. Cause like, honestly, I think there's some people who don't have like that much experience or that much knowledge about creative deals to the fact where if you can say you had everything like buttoned down really nice in about seven days, that means you already had those relationships and you were already ready to go. Mm-hmm. And because you didn't have to work on developing them, you'd already spent that time. And so you were just like ready to go. You had your, you had your dream team on the side, ready to go. And they had your back and you just jumped Mm -hmm. in. Yeah. I think that's the key. Right. And I mean, I mean, that's where like the TC and all it's so critical because I didn't have to do the paperwork. I just said, yep, I want the deal signed. Boom. And then they kind of took over all that. I just sort of sat back. I already had my attorney like ready to rock in that's Harry Marsh. Right. Yeah is um been on paces um uh, spotify and stuff before on his youtube so harry marsh is great he's in north carolina so we just sent everything over to them and i just sort of sat back and waited for the date and that was kind of it it was easy i was already on my next flip deal by then before this one closed 
That's how so, this is supposed to work. That's yeah. how the team works is you yeah. doing your strength and someone else is taking care of the other thing because that's yeah. their strength and you guys just keep the ball moving. Yeah, that's how you get scalability, right? In this space. So um, if that's what you want, right? So, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's almost like it's a little bit, it's very invigorating, right? Once you get one done and it's actually, then you're like, you're so anxious to do the next one, then the next one. Then it's just, that's how it is, you know? Yeah. It's like so, dominoes. Just it is. After like you get dominoes. one, you just got to keep it going so you can yep. keep it flow. Just the whole note, nothing falls and it shouldn't, but yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But that's the nice thing that when I'm in flips, because when you're in the flips, you just kind of get it, you exit, you're done. You get, you know, and then in the buy and hold, you get to kind of see your portfolio grow. So mm -hmm. you, you, it's nice to have both, you know, you have the yeah. exit with the cash and then you have the portfolio growing as you know, for your, you know, assets, right? Yeah, I, I love hearing from investors like you where you're like, I want to do I want to diversify, I want to mm -hmm. do a couple different things. And you're able to do mm -hmm. a bunch of different things inside one community, because you have all those different resources and yeah. support systems. And I love that about sub two, is yeah. that you can you can pick something and you're like, I'm going to engage with this. I think this is a really good fit yeah. for what I want with my life. And you go that way. And you're like, ah, I liked it, but I, not as much as I thought. So I'm going to try this other thing, but you are still in the same spot and you're just connecting with different types of people and different kinds of resources. And I love that. It's like yeah, a large absolutely. shopping mall. Yeah, it is. I mean, you can do so much, like even on the exit strategies with a sub two, you could take one sub two and make it a short-term rental. The other <laughs> sub two, you can do a long-term rental. The other one, you can do a lease to own and you own all these assets and they're all working for you in a different way, right? So, yeah. and your revenue stream is different. So it's kind of cool that you can do that. And nobody tells you what you want. To, you decide that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have a bunch of partners and then that's different. But, you know. Well, and but that's the other thing that's great, too, is that, you know, when you're in our communities and you're connecting with people and if you're looking for partners, you know that you're looking at people who have the same ambitions and goals that you have that where you can actually have those serious partner conversations and yeah. everybody's coming from the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And eventually I'll be doing some of that too. Right. So, cause you can't be in everything. So sometimes the best way to partner um, is when you can't like, if you want to go into multi love, you know, multi mm -hmm. like development and, or like whatever, things like yeah, that. Multi family. Well, I'm not going to go do that by myself, you know, forget it. So yeah. how do I partner on something like that and still feel like you're a part of that. Right. Exactly. So. And there's, there's some amazing leaders in our community who yeah. have spent so much energy and time and focus to become really strong in those areas, which definitely partner with those people. So that's my, that's my 2025 goal. <laughs> oh man. I so, love this. You are like, yeah like ready to go should i got next year's goal oh yeah well i'm just thinking ahead like okay i'll have done enough single not enough single families and that's going to keep continuing but at some point how do you multiply you multiply yeah. by getting into you know more either fourplexes duplexes multiple duplexes whatever or apartments right um and you can buy those very creatively probably better than houses um, yeah so, cause those are investors and they understand creative financing more than home sellers do. Right. So it's a, it's almost easier. I think in some ways I haven't gone out to do it yet, but I, that's my suspicion. Um, but I will. So that'll be next year. <laughs> I love this. Jody. you've got so much energy. You're just uh -huh. going like you're unstoppable. You've already got <laughs> next year's goal sorted out. I <laughs> am so glad that we got to just hear more about your goals and your your how you got here and what's going on with your deal it's been so amazing yeah no i'm really glad i jumped in and and um it's helped me figure out you know my next step from my journey from a couple of years ago of having my company and letting it go and being a part of the new company and then now i'm back to being that entrepreneurial spirit that i always had and i can you know do with it what I want and where I feel comfortable and, and I'm loving it. I love this. Yeah. Oh man. It's so tangible, right? Real estate. Like you can say, I bought that house. I own that house, you know? So it's kind of cool, you know? No, I totally agree. And, and it goes, it goes on every aspect of any mm -hmm. of these transactions where it's like lenders and transaction coordinators mm -hmm. and wholesalers and everybody, like they're all able to feel that pride and that success in yeah. any of these transactions because we're genuinely going in there trying to solve problems. Yeah. For everyone, so, and everybody is a part of your team. 
So you can yeah. be on multiple teams, you know? So that's I a great thing it. too. Yeah. So I love it. So um, I would encourage everyone to, to, to not do what I did necessarily, but definitely jump in there and ask the right questions and collaborate, meet people, connect. You know, I am going to the summit this next couple of weeks and I'm excited about that because I've been meaning to do some of the, you know, collaboration in person, right, to all these events and can never get there. So um, I'm looking forward to that as well. So I think it'll oh, be man. great to finally meet people in person that I've been talking oh. to for all these months. In person <laughs> events, they have they are magical. There's no way to express yeah. how amazing they absolutely are because right. I mean, we have so much going on, you know, online inside of our communities and everything. But then when we have the chance to meet in person, it's just, it's like almost oh, it's like, because oh it is God. so, it's like times a thousand. Times a thousand. <laughs> yeah. A minimum. Yeah. A, a minimum. Exactly. Even though you know what they look like, because, you know, you see their picture, it's just still not the same. It's like, you mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's just definitely different. And your relationship will go to a whole new level after that. Yes. You know? It's like synergy, all of us getting there together, then all the ideas and all the opportunities and all mm -hmm. the possibilities just. You'll be, different. you'll create partnerships there, right? Hopefully yes. things like that. So yes. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Are you guys going to be there? We'll see you there. Yes. Yep, I'm working on getting there, making sure I don't miss out for sure. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah, well, I'm excited and um, here to have answer any other questions you guys have for me or at any time, if anyone else yeah. would like to chat with me too, that's fine. I don't see any more questions in the chat, but guys mm -hmm. out there, we still have almost 100 viewers in here. Go add Jody on Facebook. There's her name. And you can also find her in the free Facebook group as well, Creative Finance with Pace Morby. So if you're out yeah. there in YouTube world, get over to Facebook and get connecting with Jody. And all these other folks in our communities oh, are man. ready to help you and answer these questions. People like me, people like Ashley, people like Jody. We want to help you and make this happen. Thank yeah. you so much for being here with us, Jody. This was awesome. Thank this you. is the longest one we've had because we're all oh, just. Oh, no, we didn't talk too much. No, thank you. I it was fantastic. It. Every bit was perfect. And everyone mm -hmm. in the chat is saying, this is so helpful. Thank you for hosting these. Uh, no, fantastic. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing you guys again and hopefully speaking with uh, any of the folks that are on this uh, uh, WebEx at this point, too. So yes. go make it happen and go crush it. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Thank and you. get your tickets for squad up too. Squadupsummit.com. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.